Mystery Writers. This is Write a Killer Mystery. And today I want to talk about a writing tool. It's called Plotter. And it's absolutely fabulous for organizing everything, all of your planning before you start. Um, so let's get started with um with i'll introduce you to plotter so first a quote from walter mosley which i think is so appropriate for mystery writers plot is the structure of revelation and plotter gives you the tools to structure everything so when you're writing you don't have to worry about things everything is outlined for you i know i've stressed this a lot and this is the tool to help you get it done. I, I just wanted to give you a little background because for me, Plotter was revolutionary. Um, it was the missing piece um, that I didn't have in all of my writing. I know that if you've been following me for a while, I've been looking at various plotting tools and um, from spreadsheets and, and then programs with little tiny boxes and um, they, they just didn't have very much flexibility. Um, I couldn't write enough in the boxes and everything was unwieldy and it was hard to see. And then there it was over there and you couldn't see it while you were writing. And, um, and then I wrote in Microsoft Word for a long time and, um, then I left Word about seven years ago and um, and switched to Google Docs, which I found really easy for writing, but it wasn't great for all this planning part. It was like leaping between files and getting lost and then trying to find where you were when you were writing. And, um, and the same thing happened to me when I was using um, StoryShop. StoryShop had a lot of really fantastic tools. StoryShop is no longer with us. I don't know if you know that, but anyway, StoryShop is no longer with us. They had some great planning tools and great visualization. Um, but if I wanted to check something, I had to leave my writing document where I was writing. I had to go to the place where that piece of information was. And then when I went back, it took me to the beginning of the manuscript, so I had to scroll back down to um, where I'd left off writing, and whoa, that breaks up your writing flow. Um, and then a couple of years ago, I set up everything in, um, in Ulysses for Mac, which I really love for writing. I, I really do love it. Um, I w wouldn't have been able to set it up for myself the way I wanted it without having used all these other programs and knowing exactly what I wanted except there was one thing missing and that was the whole outline um, available to me while I was writing and Plotter has um, solved that solution it's just really great um, and so for mystery writers, uh, planning at the beginning, setting up your character, setting up your story world, set, setting up um, items that people use or weapons or any of those things, all your background material, setting that all up is so great because when it's time to write, um, you have the details and you know what's going to happen in each scene, which I think is really important. All you have to do is just write. So I um, highly recommend planning and Plotter is a fabulous tool. So I went into Plotter and um, started working on a new series that I'm going to be working on. Um, it's a modern, modern crime stories. It's not historical. Um, the thing about Plotter is Plotter was designed by writers for writers. Um, and the people who work on this are Cameron Sutter and Ryan Z. And it, to me, it's as if they'd read my mind. I, it's intuitive. It's visual. It's easy to get started. There's no giant steep learning curve. 
um, you just start planning your novel. It's really fantastic. I really love it. I'm, and I wanted to get some work done in it before I introduced you to it because I wanted to see how it, how it works. So it comes with 14 starter templates and one of them is mysteries. Um, or you can design your own. That's the other thing about Plotter. It's super customizable. So however you work, you can do it inside of Plotter. Um, so, and it didn't take me long to get it set up and it didn't take me long to um, get everything going. So let's talk a little bit about how it works. It's um, it's an app that lives on your device. It works on both PC and Mac. And you pay a one-time fee for access and one year of updates. Uh, and the current price is less than $40. Uh, it's very affordable. After a year, if you wish to receive future updates, you can pay an annual fee to continue with the updates. However, what you have, what you got from the beginning is always there for you to use. And if you've worked it all out in your head, that's what you want. Um, you're, you're free to just continue with that. I just thought I'd let you know that. Um, also, um, Plotter offers a 30 day free test drive. So if you want to go and play with it, um, I highly recommend doing that. There's a link in the description below about where to go. Um, if you want to work on more than one device, say you work in both, say you're, say you're like me, your, your computer is iOS and my uh, device is Android. Um, you can also get a bundle so it will work with um, with your operating system because it works on Apple, iOS, Windows, and Android. So you have a lot of choices. It's just, um, it's great. So first of all, you can visualize all your plot points. You can arrange and rearrange your scenes, your plots, your character arcs. Um, so you can quickly find your way to the end of your story. So there's no cork board or sticky notes or three by five cards. It's all there in little cards, which you can move around. It's very simple to use. You can add and move your story cards and um, as your story takes shape. Um, you can drag and drop the story cards from one timeline to another. As you reorganize, um, the feature allows you to work with your creative process. That's what I love about it. It's um, really intuitive and allows you to customize it just about any way you want it to be. So if you've been using spreadsheets, I tried that once a long time ago. It just didn't work for me. But uh, if you've been using spreadsheets, you're going to love this feature of moving everything around and um, having everything Organize as you change your ideas about maybe where a scene goes. Um, and then it's color coded and there's a huge color palette that you can use to code however you want with your storylines and subplots. Um, you're going to spend some time at the beginning setting up characters and places. And one useful feature is the ability to tag characters and subplots and places or just about anything you want so you can i highly recommend taking the time to create your tags because you can filter by tags to find where each of those elements are as it appears in your outline and just for example, you can create a timeline for main characters for subplots and themes to track them throughout the major plot line. And the thing about Plotter is you can customize it to work the way you work. And it's a significant benefit for creative minds. I, I love that flexibility. So rather than trying to get your story ideas into somebody's pre-formatted something or other, you have the ability to structure it the way you like to work. I love it. I love it. Um, 
I, then and the when you set it up the timeline is horizontal but you can also flip it so it's vertical however you like to see it um, and um, you can create your story Bible uh, background details for your characters and things and image you can add images to help you visualize um, you can create attributes for your characters um, they have templates you can set up your own it's it, once again extremely flexible so you can have special skills or rank in a law enforcement organization or stakes or you decide I mean it's just really wonderful um, and you can add tags to show where they appear in the storyline it makes linking your characters and places really simple so your whole story Bible is in there and the story outline is in there customization is the stellar feature of plotter so um, once again you don't have to fit your the way you work into somebody else's idea of how it should be um, you can work with plotter to customize it however you like you can see your outline now so just one caveat plotter is not a writing app there's no writing this is just planning all right it's a fabulous tool for planning novels um, but once you have it all put together you can export your outline and and you can refer to it as you are writing so it's right there on your screen uh, and you can and you can use it as you're writing to see where you're going next and see the details that you've planned for each scene um, so you can review and edit your outline and it's it's always flexible if you change your mind about um, which characters are in a scene or where a scene should appear in this story you you can do that uh, everything is auto saved so you, if you make changes the outline is always up to date um, you can edit your scenes in the outline view and filter them by storylines you created and then as I said you can export right now you can export as a word document soon you're going to be able to export right into Scrivener so I know that a lot of people use that if you use Ulysses like I do you can copy the word document into a sheet and uh, set it as a material sheet so it's always right there all right there's um, a note section for you know to capture all those ideas you don't not quite know where they go in the story yet but you know you want to have them so you can add to your notes um, and also if if you are a pantser the notes section allows you to capture thoughts and then use plotter to organize the story while you're editing the first draft so um, and that's really helpful because you can discover if you have any plot holes um, it's just, it's just a super super flexible tool there's also um, a Facebook group where you can share ideas with other writers and the other thing is that Cameron and Ryan are super super responsive they welcome ideas from authors um, the response time if you write to support is usually within the hour I don't expect that at 2 a.m. but you know during the daytime the response is very very quick um, I don't know I just tried getting um, uh, support help from a program uh, yesterday and essentially the message I got when I put in my support ticket was okay we got your support ticket and somebody will get back to you maybe sometime that's not very helpful when you're working so um, Ryan and Cameron are super responsive it's just um, it's just great um, 
They're also constantly refining and updating the app, and um, and they do listen to writers. And they uh, welcome your ideas. Doesn't mean it's going to show up, but they do welcome ideas because it gives them ways to refine plotter. So it's flexible, it's writer friendly, and it's affordable. Uh, it, it's just the best tool I found to create the background you want for your novel. Um, you can use their basic timeline to get started uh, and because every writer works a different way the customization allows you to create planning environment that works for you. I, I just love it. I, I love that aspect of it because I know and you probably have too. You've tried things where you're trying to scrunch your ideas into what somebody else tells you is the right place to have it and it just doesn't feel natural to you and so then it becomes pretty unworkable and Plotter is just the opposite. You can set it up however you like. Okay, so just a quick run through of Plotter. Um, you can have multiple project files so I recommend if you're starting your mystery that you set up a project for a series because then you can have more than one book in the series. Right now Plotter does not have the functionality to carry characters over from one book to another but it's in the work so it's happening soon so it's going to save you a lot of work in the long run to set that up. And then you can go from your series, you can go to your book. And let's look at, at um, in the series, go to that book. And here we go. This is the timeline, and I love it. You can visualize your entire, let's just slide this over. So you can visualize your entire project from beginning to end, um, all of the chapters, and you can design your, um, your lines any way you want. And it's very flexible, however you work. Um, Plotter has... 14 templates that you can use so I use the I use the mystery mystery template I just wanted to see what it was like and then I added a subplot and also another subplot and then I go through chapter by chapter because as you know I use the 40 sentence outline so I want to have that up for each chapter um, what's going on from a story perspective and also can add notes um, of what's going on in that particular chapter for writing the story and then the notes fixture feature is just what it says it's notes so anything that pops into your head um, I had some background work I wanted to do for my main character, and he's uh, Swedish heritage, um, and where Swedes actually live in Portland. I realize that I'm just starting out on this series and this novel, so I don't have a lot of things filled in, but I just wanted to give you an outline of, of how this works. And then for each character, um, you can set up, you can add photos, you can add, let's go to our main character here. You can add what Plotter calls attributes, which is up here, and you can just click this and add an attribute and um, save. So... You can add as many as you like. If you're familiar with my style, we have uh, each character's secret, their primary lie, their fallback lie. And you can click on this and 
edit whatever is going on. You you have a whole note section if you want to do a deep background on 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 your character, and you can add any attribute that you want. So um, um, depending on how you how you work on your character background, it's it's just incredible. So you're going to end up with a complete story bible. Only one to uh, slide down here you can add actually multiple pictures the actual um, character identifier only displays one but you can add as many as you like in the attributes section um, which is great for me I like to see them in different poses and different um, emotional states and things so um, for instance with this character we have two complete the same person two completely different ways of her physical physically appearing so I really like that um, for me I like those little visual cues when I'm writing um, also in your story Bible there's places I haven't filled this out a lot so but I just want you to know you can do the same thing and you can add custom attributes again so you can add images you can add I like to have floor plans for um, basic scenes like in the police office I haven't figured that out yet but um, I like to have actual floor plans so as the characters move around I know where they are and then one of the beautiful features of plotter is you can add tags um, to sort through things and and tags are really cool because here's the thing that makes this all really super functional. When you're ready to write, when you've done your background work and you want to start working on, on your story and you want to write, um, you can bring up the outline of the entire, of the entire novel and have a look at it while you're working and the tags show up here so for instance if you wanted to tag um, um, when a character appears in scenes how often they appear things like that the tags are your choice whatever you want so however you organize concepts themes characters however you organize your writing ideas you can tag them and they're going to show up you can export the outline right now it exports as a word document it's soon going to be you're soon going to be able to export it into scrivener so just a lot of really cool features in plotter it certainly for me the missing piece and for all of you killer writers i know that you know that planning really helps you write write faster transform so into text um, that's it i want to um, all of this highly including a book I'm series a link get um, plotter in the description. i just highly recommend so, it because uh, planning it makes There's a 30 day your writing go faster and it. plotter is okay, the tool it. it just is i just plotter thrilled well. after all my years of writing to find this program okay so you're going to find the links in in the description below you can get to plotter and give it a 30-day trial so you can play around with it and see how it fits with your style anyway i highly recommend it i want to thank you for being here and don't forget to um click the subscribe button and that little notification bell so you will be notified for the next episode of write a killer mystery all right thanks so much i'll see you next time keep writing